welcome back to Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy. Thanks for stopping on by and clicking on this video. On this channel, we do DIYs with signs and there's always tons of laughter to be had. This hair is bothering me. Today, we are gonna do some simple, easy home decor DIYs. So make sure to stick around and watch this video. Let's go ahead and get into the DIYs. This DIY, we're gonna use two of the Dollar Tree signs. I'm using this contact paper. I think it's from Walmart. I'm gonna peel the back off. <laughs> Hashtag the, you might want to do that. And I'm just going to flip the signs over, glitter side down, stick them on. Now, I do recommend sanding the glitter off because this contact paper wanted to like pull away from the sign because of the glitter. So now I'm just cutting them off, you know, the excess off to make it nice and clean. And then I'm going to get the larger paint stir sticks put some super glue and some hot glue on there. I'm gonna put one in the middle, obviously to attach the two signs together. I'll put one at the top so that I can hot glue some sawtooth hangers on the right and the left side. And then you guys, I put one on the bottom. I don't know why I do what I do, okay? All right, and then I didn't put this, but I did fill the holes and then I'm just sanding them down um, so that they're nice and flat. Getting my Rust-Oleum linen paint. I'm gonna do a messy coat of white paint. And remember, you do you. You do whatever colors suit you best. So next I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree like box. It's actually um, one of the Thanksgiving like signs. And I'm applying heat to the hook part because it'll just easily pop off and I didn't want to take the chance of ripping the box out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and coat the outside of the box with rich black by folk art. I don't touch the middle up, just, just the outside and the top rim here. And then I am going to be using a crate. All I did was take some, a baby wipe, dip it in antique wax and, um, went around it. All right, now taking a yardstick and a permanent marker, I'm gonna use the planks that are already on the sign and draw me some lines. Easy busy, Dollar Tree squissy. All right, so after that, I am going to take some of the Dollar Tree cork um, and then a Dollar Tree chalkboard I want them to be the same size, so I am going to trace my chalkboard, cut out two pieces of this cork board. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to layer them on top of each other, just so it's a nice thick cork board and you, know, you don't have to worry about the push pin going through onto the sign. And after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and attach these two. So this is gonna be a very functional, piece. So I go ahead and put some super glue. Make sure you put the hot glue anywhere that the super glue is not. Okay. And then you just peel the back off of your cork board and this cork board stuff, you guys is super, super sticky. Um, and it works very well. I always buy it when I see it. So just peel the back off. We'll stick that right next to it. There we go. Now we're gonna take that little box. And this little box I figured could hold like the push pins, chalk pins, chalk sticks, things like that. And then we're going to attach our crate. And I figured these could be for like sunglasses, smaller papers, uh, you know, you know, your junk basically. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this dollar, our Dollar Tree <laughs> Cricut design and I'm gonna apply that right here and we are done. And like I said, I did hot glue sawtooth hangers to the back, I did not show that, but I really love, it's simple, it's clean, and it is very, very functional. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and it inspires you, and again, if you don't like these colors, like do whatever your theme in the house is, but I think this one turned out great. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that first DIY. And for some of my OG subscribers, you might be saying, uh, I've seen these before, I think. If you're new, then these are new to you, and that is great. Uh, but as we know, I am pregnant. I am seven months pregnant, so I am trying to put out 
um, some recycled content just so I can then use that time to record new videos to put out while I am trying to take some maternity leave when this baby comes in June. So bear with me and I appreciate if you've seen these and you are still here supporting me and watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. And for my new subscribers, I hope you enjoy these DIYs. I know I enjoyed them, that's why I wanted to share them again. And you guys know the drill, if you're digging me, if you're digging this video, and if you're digging the DIYs, then make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps your girl out. Remember, we're trying to get to 100K before baby M gets here in June. So you guys, Thank you so much for your support and for being here. And with that said, let's go ahead and get right back into the video. This next one's going to be super cute. So we're going to take one of these trucks. Um, they also have like a Halloween version of this and I think a different one. We're going to rip that sign off, but we are going to save it for later. So hold on to it. We're going to flip this sign on around. Make sure to cover the backs. I don't think I did with this one. And I am going to start freehand painting this. So... I'm using steel and I'm referencing, I keep flipping the truck back and forth because I'm referencing the other side. If you had two of these, it would make it a lot easier. Um, but I'm gonna outline where the mirrors are and the window. And then I'm going to take some rich black by folk art and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just trace out where like my fenders are before I paint the entire truck black. Um, that way, I don't know. I just like, I don't know. I know where things are because <laughs> I'm going to paint them first with the black and then I'm going to use that still gray and go back over it and give it some definition with like the gray. So I'm going to add like highlights a lot within this truck. So after I'm done doing that, I paint the entire truck black, which I'm going to skip over and here we go and you could see adding more highlights with that steel gray by waverly around the window i will draw like paint a little bumper on here and you guys can do this with any colors that you want and then i use my little daubers and i'm going to put some lights on there this turned out so stinking cute all right now we're going to grab some paint stir sticks and jingle blocks I'm going to uh, start with two of the large um, paint sticks from, not paint sticks, stir, uh, popsicle sticks from Walmart. You're gonna need eight, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 jingle blocks total. And just hot glue them in twos. And what we're gonna do is build a box. So you can obviously use one of the Dollar Tree crates. However, this one was a lot bigger than the crate, so I was able to fit more into it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna build the bottom of the bed of our truck. So I took two uh, Jenga blocks, attached them together, and then hot glued the popsicle stick on top. Now I'm going to attach both of those together because I wanted it to be like further, like stick further out, like I said, so I could fit more in there. And then I will hot glue two more Jenga blocks on top. This seems so confusing. No, four. Jeez, I'm a hot mess. I hope you guys are watching because I'm not explaining this very well. Okay, <laughs> so I stack. So basically you'll have eight Jenga blocks on each side, okay? I think that's a lot easier to say. And then we're going to attach it to the back of our truck get more large popsicle sticks, and then we will hot glue those to the top of our Jenga blocks. So you can see now we have the bed of our truck. It is substantially bigger than the crates. And <laughs> ooh, now we take that sign we took off, paint it white, and then I'll do a decal that I made on my Cricut, add some lines so it looks like planked wood. It's a busy. All right, add that decal. Now for me, I wanted it to, to be able to switch this out if I wanted to. So I added this Velcro like dots to the back. That way for Christmas, I could take this off and change it to like Christmas trees, $5, put Christmas trees back there, change it to strawberries, you know, like whatever you want. So I'm gonna stuff the bed of the truck with a grocery bag 
And then I'll put some Spanish moss in there, uh, some lemons and some boxwood. And this came out so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. I love how big the bed of the truck is. Like I said, I could fit a lot more in there than I would the Dollar Tree crate. So I hope this inspires you to make your own. And um, I hope you love the vibe of the lemons. It adds a nice touch. We're taking these pieces of wood from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take them outside and we are gonna sand them out and cut them. But before, we need to measure it out. So I am going to cut these into two and a half inch blocks. There will be a little excess off of the side and we're gonna cut that off, all right? So let's go in the garage, let's come back. Bam, there she is. Okay, so then I'm going to clean these off with some baby wipes. Uh, they sand it off pretty well. Then taking that rich black, I am taking these wood letters from Dollar Tree. They fit absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna paint those black. We're gonna paint our wood piece entirely black, black the top, the bottom, the sides, everything. Just paint it all black here, okay? So then after we're done painting all of these pieces black, we are going to flip our parchment paper around, take our blocks. Now, I did two coats of white on this side, the brown side, and then I coated the rest of it with one coat of white. And I know the other side was white, but it had a glossy finish, wasn't digging it, so I decided to paint over that as well. So once that is all dry, we are gonna get our wooden letters. Now, Melissa uses, I forget, they're like almost like tile looking pieces she got from Dollar Tree and she uses the black stickers from Dollar Tree. So make sure to watch her video to see her take on this. So I'm just using my detail gun. I am trying to get them as centered as possible. And oh my gosh, I just love the way this turned out. And it looks so high end because of these the wood signs from Dollar Tree, like they're so heavy. I love it. And you can make this reversible too. I just didn't have enough time to be honest. Okay, so now I'm taking antique wax and I wanted to add a little dimension. So I decided to distress around the sides. And of course, you don't have to do that at all. You can leave it vibrant just like this, but I really wanted to tie this into all my other DIYs and I really thought it made the letters pop. So after we are done with that, you guys are done. If you want to make it reversible, possibilities are endless. But look at how beautiful this came out. So thank you, Melissa, from Four Quarters Crafts, because I really enjoyed making it. It was so easy to make. And y'all, thank you so much for being here with me. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. All right, so grab one of the long Dollar Tree signs. Uh, take your eyes <laughs> and the bow off of your rabbit. Now apply a light coat of your chalk paint, acrylic paint, whatever you use. We're going to grab the wood graining tool. Now this was like one of my first times trying it. You don't need to rock it back and forth that hard. You just need a slight little, um, tilt to it and it comes out beautiful. This is in my Amazon cart. Uh, our store. <laughs> it's in my cart. Yeah, a lot of things are in my Amazon cart. Um, it, and then after I'm done, I got these letters. All I did was print them off of my computer. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out. And at first I thought I was going to Mod Podge them on. Uh, but then I was like, I, you know, let's, let's work harder, not smarter. So I ended up tracing them. Sorry about this angle. So I trace the H, M, and the E. Then I come back in with my Arteza paint pen and I'm going to outline them. Now I'm not going to fill it in with my paint pen because I did not want to waste the paint in there. So I'm just going to outline the letters then I come in, this is a synthetic makeup brush. Don't throw those makeup brushes away, ladies. Use them to paint with. And I am gonna go in and fill, um, paint in the rest of our lettering here. And it was super easy, and I just felt like it, it didn't waste my paint pen. All right, now I just take my rough sanding block, I sand over the H, M, and the E just to give it a little bit more of a distressed look. Next, because I'm so crafty, I grabbed my paint uh, painter's tape, traced a circle, and now I'm going to take my boxwood from Walmart, 
pull those leaves off and I'm just going to hot glue it around the circle. Now, of course, you could use an embroidery hoop, a wreath that's already made. I didn't have one, so this was me making my own, which it actually turned out pretty dang decent. So after that, I'm gonna grab this bag of lemons, which I got these at Hobby Lobby, and when they're 50% off, they're actually cheaper than if you are able to find the lemons at Dollar Tree. So keep that in mind. So I think I use about like four of these lemons, and if lemons aren't your thing, keep the lemons off, add flowers, add, I mean, whatever your heart desires, but you get the concept. Now taking this gingham ribbon, we are going to stick those through the holes, tie a knot in the back. That is gonna be our hanger. So very easy, you could use twine, whatever you want. And then we need to cover that scary eyeless bunny. So apply some hot glue onto the back, stick it on some shipping paper, and then take your craft knife and clean the excess of your shipping paper up. And now nobody has to see that scary Easter bunny that is on the back of our sign. And you guys, this is how it turned out. It is so cute. I love the look of the wood grain on here. It is stunning. And I like that, like, you know, you don't have to put the lemons on it. You can just put it green or do whatever you want. But this was really easy and it came out so beautiful. Let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, now to these cutie patooties. Okay, so I'm taking these boxes from Dollar Tree. We took the insides out and then I'm sticking with the golden pecan stain color. You can also remember you could use like acrylic mixed with water it also dries way faster but surprisingly this stuff just sucked up the stain and then dried right away so i'm doing all of the outside and then the bottom of it it's just my preference i like a finished product and i kept the inside um, just the raw wood color we're going to repeat that stuff for all three of the boxes then we are going to take some wood beads i just put them in an old bowl put some wood stain on them kind of shook a shook a shook them around then I poured them out <laughs> tap 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 dried them up and then once those are dry we are going to go ahead and um, then move on to our domino pieces and y'all these are actually like little wood pieces so pick them up if you see them they are great and we're going to do a lot more DIYs with them and I am just covering these up with rich uh, black by folk art now I'm taking some vinyl decals I created, and this is permanent 651 Oracle vinyl. You guys know I need my straight lines. I get all of my vinyl, like my black and my white vinyl, um, and my vinyl ease, which is my transfer tape on Amazon, and I just buy the humongous rolls of them. And then the vinyl ease is what I'm using for my transfer tape, and it is by far my favorite I've ever tried. And that is also in the Amazon store link. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up putting these decals on our little domino pieces here. And then we are gonna move on to attaching our little wooden beads for our feet. So I just made sure that I put these a little bit more inside the box so that they weren't poking out when it stood up. And we are gonna put Avi four on each box and we are gonna repeat this for all three of our boxes. So now I'm taking painter's tape and you guys know me and my straight lines. I want to make sure that each one is a straight line and that each of them line up with each other because I obviously want them standing by each other. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this with all three of our little boxes. Isn't that so adorable? Pray, wait, trust. I love it. Now taking some floral foam from Dollar Tree, we're going to go ahead and put those in our little boxes. And then I'm taking, I'm sorry, I don't know what these flowers are called. The tags were already off them, but I just cut these down. And with two like bundles of them, I was able to put four in the middle and three on each side, but you were still able to see a little bit of that foam. So what I did was I took another bundle of Dollar Tree florals, and I don't know what these are called either. Um, I'll sh they'll come into frame like right now, any day. Um, these right here they came out during summer and they are so beautiful and look crazy high-end so i stuffed those in there and then i took some of my scrap leaves 
from my stash and I tuck those in the back so that I'm covering it, but you know, like it still looks green and it looks full. So y'all, I cannot wait to show you these because they seriously, these little buggers turned out so beautiful. Look at how vibrant, like the, the like pray, wait, trust, it just pops out at you. And with those vibrant white flowers, these are just gorgeous and they would go anywhere with any decor. So let me know if you're going to be making these because. And she's back and the shirt is changed. And she's back and the shirt is changed. Anybody watch Manny? Manny hit me away. I love how much you guys notice things that like change about me because one of you asked me where my turquoise like necklace went that I always wear on my like right here. And the vacuum made it. I never take it off. Everly has one. I have one. And it's supposed to keep us connected while she's at school. So if she feels lonely or she misses me and things like that, then she knows that I have one too. But she forgot her, so I let her wear it. And then when she came home, I had set it on the table. Somehow it got on the floor and the vacuum completely ate it. So now it's in my purse. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the vlog channel, you guys, because that is where like when baby M and stuff comes in when I am on maternity leave, that I'll probably be posting more because it's something I don't really like have to edit or anything. So if you want to be updated on like family life, the baby, all of that stuff, and I'm also getting into kind of like mommy vlogs as well, go ahead and go over there. The link's in the description box. Okay guys, I need to catch my breath. I'm leaving.